Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Mac here playing Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain, episode 40. This is Cloaked in Silence, the extreme variant. Now, what that means is that you get one shot and you're dead. So basically, we have to complete the mission without getting hit. Also, Quiet takes significantly uh, more damage, meaning you'll have to hit her like four or five or six times instead of the two or three it was originally. Feel free to use your Renov or the M2000NL, I believe. As long as you're using a neutralizing sniper rifle and not one that does damage, this is an easy S rank as long as you can beat the mission. Now, what the strategy is, is pretty simple. I'm going to be spending the majority of my time sitting exactly where we spawn. Remember, there is bullet drop and you need to compensate for the bullet drop. On the M2000NL, it's not as bad as on the Renov, so you'll have to kind of do a little bit of trial and error to find out what the bullet drop is on your gun and what the bullet drop is on what upgrade of gun you have to figure out how you're going to be able to hit quiet uh, every time or at least nearly every time. If you miss a lot, it's okay. Uh, it'll just take you a long time to complete the mission and it leaves you kind of a little bit more vulnerable um, to get hit yourself. Now, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you're marking her at every location she's at and she usually tends to travel in a bit of a pattern. We're going to be marking her so that when she leaves her post, we know exactly which direction she's running and that's going to help us significantly. Now, what the strategy is for not getting killed is poking your head out when she knows where your location is will get her to spot you and shoot you. From when she shoots you to when the bullet hits your direction, there's about a 0.5 second or full second delay. So as you saw, I poked out, she shot me, and then as soon as the bullet hit and missed, I poke out, and then you have about one to two seconds to hit her before she fires a second round. So that's all this mission is, is getting perfect timing from when she shoots you and misses to when she's able to shoot again. Poking my head out, she shoots, she misses, I poke my head out, I take a shot. If I miss the shot, we repeat. If you hit the shot, you'll notice that her uh, 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 stun bar goes down. Sorry about that. A little bit of a brain fart. And then when her stun bar goes down, uh, she'll sprint to her next location. Now, there is a bit of a pattern here. And what you're going to want to do is use your iDroid and make sure you have it equipped and that you're looking at where she's running. You will, you'll be able to hear her footprints, which is very important to keeping track of where she is. Now, what you're going to want to do is kind of learn the pattern a little bit. And from the location she's in, if she runs to the right hand side as she's doing now, she basically has two locations she can stop in. She can stop in that clock tower or she can stop to the right of the clock tower where that little pillar kind of meets. And there's two locations she'll be in the clock tower. If she doesn't jump up in the clock tower, that means she'll be on the right hand side next to one of the pillars a little bit further off in the distance. Now, again, we're just doing the exact same tactic, like I said. And sometimes she makes her way all the way to the very, very left of the screen. And if she does that, that's okay. She won't spot you, but you won't really be able to spot her. She's usually located directly behind a tree from her location to your location. That tree is to my left right there. You can see it just poking out a little bit. Uh, it's okay if she does that. It'll take a little bit longer for her to start running back. Uh, just make sure you don't lose track of her. And if you do lose track of her and you want her to notice you and spot you, just poke your head out, start running around a little bit, and then as soon as she notices you, just crouch down back into cover. And that way, you'll be able to see the glimmer off of her scope, and you'll be able to find her again, even if you've lost her for a couple minutes. Again, you're only able to get shot once. As soon as you're shot, it's game over. Here's where I said sometimes she gets behind the tree and you don't really, it's kind of a little bit hard to spot her. So that's what happened here. It was very hard for me to spot her, but she started running again and then I could hear that on my microphone and I could see the little bit of dust trail she was leaving behind. And then when she left the dust trails, uh, there she is. You can actually shoot her through the tree, but uh, there's just not a lot of time sometimes to hit her. Um, she'll move kind of depending on wherever she feels like going. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Hopefully you can understand the pattern and how it's going. Just make sure you're poking in and out and making sure you're not getting hit by her. Remember that her bullet does lag about one full second depending on how far she is and how far you are. And that you have about a two second timer in between when her bullet hits your cover to when you can try to shoot her. Eventually you'll take care of all of her health. You'll meet her in the center of the area and then you'll be prompted to shoot her. Do not shoot her. Instead, just wait for that cutscene to end, skip all the cutscenes, and then pick her up and load her on the chopper to extract and finish the mission, skipping all of the cutscenes after the mission as well to get the timer of the level to be as little as possible. And that should easily get you an S rank. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.
Did you get her? With those abilities of hers. No doubt about it. She has to be one of the skulls. Now move in and finish your boss. She's working for Cypher. Quiet is a valuable source of information, boss. There's no need to kill her. Think carefully. This is your decision. The female sniper. Quiet. She's one of the skulls. Hurry up and kill her. No. Killing her would be a waste. Bring her back here. Boss. Boss. Support helicopter. Boss, you're not thinking of bringing her back here, are you? She works for Cypher. We don't even know the extent of her abilities. She is not setting foot on this base. Good word, boss. Can't believe you took her down alive. Now bring her back here. Let's find out what she really is. This is too dangerous. Kill her. Don't bring her to our home. This is the boss's decision. Arriving shortly. I'll send the extraction chopper. Boss, you know I've always got your back. This is a big one. Bring her here. Boss, no. Mission 